What's going on Falcons fans, Logan here. It's currently 4th of July as I'm recording this, and I know this video won't be published on 4th of July, but I still want to say happy 4th of July to you guys nonetheless. But onto the Falcons talk, I ran into some very interesting stats on Desmond Trufant the other day, and it got me thinking, am I way too low on this player? For all the Falcons fans that are way too low on Desmond Trufant, saying he's trash and that he needs to leave Atlanta right now, I want you to just stop what you're doing and take a look at this. So these are the stats I came across and it shows that Desmond Trufant actually had a better year than the Saints Marshawn Lattimore, which <laughs> by the way, this felt so good because if you've seen my previous episodes, you know I always say Marshawn Lattimore is overrated. Now I don't think he's a bad corner, I just don't think he's the best corner in the league. But look at this, whatever is in yellow is what Trufant did better than Lattimore, and that is a lot of yellow. Desmond Trufant had a better completion ratio, he let up less yardage, he had more pass breakups. The only thing Lattimore did better than Trufant is that he grabbed more interceptions and let up less touchdowns. But other than that, Trufant had a much better year than Marshawn Lattimore. So why do people not give Desmond Trufant enough credit? It's simple. He's not getting enough interceptions, but there can be millions of reasons why that's the case. Some people can say, oh, he doesn't have good hands. Well, my answer to that is exactly what Madden says at times. The game will say that's why they play corner, because if they had really good hands, they'd be playing receiver or something like that. Basically, receiver and corner, the players are basically the same. They have the same height, the same size, the same speed. It's just that the receivers have better hands. Well, corners don't necessarily have to grab the ball. Did you know as a corner, you can also, you know, swat the ball or bat the ball, whatever. You don't have to catch it. As long as the receiver doesn't grab it, you're good. And as we're seeing from these stats, it looks like Desmond Trufant is doing just that. He has great coverage skills, but he doesn't have to catch the ball. He can swat it away. Or another reason he isn't getting many interceptions is because maybe the teams don't throw it his way. And I don't really have to show stats on whether the teams throw it his way or not because look, it's either you throw it to Trufant's way or you throw it to Robert Alford's way. Or maybe you want to look at Isaiah Oliver, the rookie, maybe you want to mess with the rookie a little bit. Yeah, they're probably going to throw it to that side most of the time instead of Trufant's way. So there's millions of reasons he isn't getting many interceptions. But those are the ones I want to focus on and talk about only, but maybe it's not just interceptions that people look at. Some people, I've seen it on Facebook, they'll comment, oh, Trufant can't tackle. Now, I'm not saying a corner shouldn't have the ability to tackle, but most of the time, you don't really see a corner's top priority as tackling. Their top priority is to cover and run with the receiver to try and swat or intercept the pass. And if that's the case, they don't necessarily tackle all that much. Linebackers and D-linemen do, but corners and overall the secondary, they're always busy running around and covering, not necessarily to tackle. So yeah, Trufant's ability to tackle isn't the greatest because he's a corner. Not saying he just shouldn't tackle, but that shouldn't be something to worry about all that much if I were him. So really, it's just the interceptions and the tackling that people don't look at for Desmond Trufant. People don't give him enough credit because of that. All the other top corners can grab interceptions and maybe tackle, but guess what else they can do? They can cover and bat down passes so the receiver can't catch it. And wait a minute, Desmond Trufant can cover and make sure the receivers don't catch the ball like a corner gets paid to do? Wow, what a coincidence. No wonder he got a huge contract extension not too long ago because he can do what a corner is supposed to do. COVER and not let the receiver catch the ball. Now, don't feel too bad. I actually was low on Trufa at first too, cause I looked at the interceptions. But the more you think about it, interceptions isn't really the things corners need to have to stay in the league. It is nice to have turnovers, yes, but as long as the receiver doesn't catch it, they're good. And Trufant has done just that. Now, one last thing before I end this discussion, there's even more optimism for Trufant to play well this year. We went over how he can cover and overall be a great corner, but guess what? His teammates are coming back healthy. 
Ricardo Allen and Keanu Neal will be back to help bring in more uh, momentum for the secondary, so Trufant will get even better if his teammates are doing better, including Isaiah Oliver. He could do well with the veterans helping him out. I promise you, if the whole secondary is doing well, then we'll see Trufant do well, which sounds obvious, but still. I mean, Trufant is one of the Falcons players that supposedly has impressed Dan Quinn so far in minicamp, and Dan Quinn, by the way, coach Richard Sherman. Could he help Trufant get to that level? We'll see. So overall, with Desmond Trufant's great coverage skills and his teammates and coaches helping him out to be even better than he is now, I think Falcons fans and NFL fans need to give Trufant more credit. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But other than that, whether you agree or not, please make sure to smash that like button, blow up the comment section, and definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any weekly content. There's new episodes every Tuesday and Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern, and I will see you guys this upcoming Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Rise up.